This video is going to show how Core ELEC is running on this B Leak GT King box. Now, right now, we're looking at the ATV interface that uh, Supercell Ron created for this. So, this is an Android version right now. So, we're going to boot into the uh, Core ELEC running on a 32 gig micro SD card. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hold the hold the power button in and go down to restart and what we'll do it will boot into core ELEC so let's let it go ahead and boot into that okay here it is it's booting into core ELEC which again is running on that 32 gig micro SD card so I'll show you some of the things that it does now primarily oh uh, Open ELEC, Libre ELEC, and Core ELEC, they were all created to uh, display your uh, uh, your own media that was stored on your devices and not necessarily as a streaming device. So, But the, they have added the ability to stream Netflix and uh, YouTube. So I'll show you that right now. Okay, there's Netflix, or excuse me, YouTube. Now, YouTube will only play in 1080p. Netflix will play in 1080p with Dolby Digital Surround Sound. However, it only plays 1080p with uh, uh, their original, Netflix Originals. The other ones that's uh, uh, created by someone else, they only play in DVD quality. So I'll show you that in a minute. So. All right, that's what I'm going to show you, and let's start with uh, Netflix. Okay, let's start out showing some of the things that Netflix can do. Let's start with a test pattern. And we'll take the season one. Okay, now this will show 1080p, but it will not show 4K. If you notice, the top right hand corner, 1920 by 1080, and it shows 23.96 frames per second. So let's see if it changes. Okay, if you look at that, it changes the frame rate to match the video. So it showed uh, 24 frames. So, so that is 1080p. Now, Bird Box is a original Netscape, or, excuse me, Netflix movie created movie so this should play in 1080p so let's see if it does bird box again this is a netflix original and it should play in 1080p with dolby digital surround sound okay my avr shows dd plus Let's check our frame rate. Okay, it switched it to 24p, 3480 by 2160. Okay, there's the stats for nerds, and it shows the video resolution at 1920 by 1080p. So it is a 1080p with a 24 frame rate setting, and it's got Dolby Digital. Okay, if you notice this movie here, again, it's on Netflix. Now, this is a video resolution of 960 by 540. So that's DVD resolution. But again, it did change the frame rate to 24 frames per second. So that worked. And, but it still has Dolby Digital Plus. Okay, now we're going to check out Netflix. Again, this one only plays 1080p, not 4K. And my TV is a 4K. So what we're going to do here, this is the interface that you see. Do a search. I already did some search for 4K video. Uh, let's play this one here. Now it asked me 1080p, that's in the settings. So I'll let it play in 1080p, and that's all he offers me, no 4K. I think the screen flickers when it changes frame rate. That's one of the settings I have not changed. 
Okay, if you notice, it shows 30 frames per second. That's what this one is filmed in, 30 frames per second. All right. Okay, let's go to Stats for Nerds and see what it says. Screen resolution, 1920 by 1080. Let's check the TV setting. Yep, 1920 by 1080. That's what it's pumping out. And uh, 30 frames per second. So it is a 1080 picture with 30 frames per second. So that looks good. Again, no 4K, but it plays 1080p. Fantastic. Even though it's not 4K, the picture quality is just outstanding. Okay, now we covered the streaming uh, apps. Now, this is what it's made for. All these things here is devices, media that I have. Uh, TV shows, these are the ones that I've uh, recorded from my antenna on the roof. Now, there's 161 different uh, series that I have recorded. Most of them are old people, and my grandkids say these are old people's TV shows, and they refuse to watch them. But anyway, uh, that's for, primarily for what it does, uh, present all the, uh, the uh, media that you've got. Uh, movies, some of these I've recorded over the air, but most of them I dug out my DVDs from years ago. I dug them out, ripped them, and put them on there. I'm not sure where it shows how many I've got. I've got about 500, over 500 movies that I've ripped and put on here. Some of them are uh, DVDs that I've repurchased, and then I've got a few Blu-rays that I bought. So anyway, um, this is what it looks like. Now you can go over here to that option up at the top. You can change it to poster view. You can change it to wide view, slide view, banner, or list. So there's a multitude of uh, ways you can look at it, the way you prefer it. I think I like the slide. But anyway, it gives you all kinds of information. See, that's 480p, MPEG-2 video, it's AC3 uh, stereo. Let's see if we find one here that's uh, maybe Avatar. Okay, Avatar, it's 1080p, it's a DTS HD. This gives me high definition audio when I play these. Uh, now, when I put it on that, it automatically brings up the cast. Now, let's pick one out, that guy. Now, that one, if I click on it, it takes a few seconds for it to bring in all the data from the Internet to present it. But it will pop up here in just a minute, and I will show you. But it gives you all the information. There it is. Uh, I gathered the information from the movie database that went on the internet not to pull this information out. So he's 67 years old, born in New York City. He's been in 81 movies and 15 TV shows. So there's the movies he's been in. Now if you notice, you got the top right hand corner, you like little circles. Those are like a uh, hard drive symbol. Though That one I have, that one I have. Those are actually stored in my uh, uh, devices, hardware that I've got that I ripped or recorded. Here's all the TV shows that this particular gentleman has been in. There's his pictures. And there's the fan art. So if you want to look at the pictures. But this app, this app is absolutely incredible. Now, they, I'm not able to uh, get the server, the MB server. So right now I'm running my MB server on my B-Link uh, L55, which is like mini. PC, Windows 10 PC, that's running my server. My media is stored in different devices, uh, external hard drives, external network storage devices, so my media is scattered everywhere. But this presents it in a, a format that I really enjoy because I'd like to get all the information on the cast, and that gives me all of it. Latest movies. Now this one is a, is a 4K movie.
And I'm gonna have to pause it because I can't let it play. But I'll show you the stats for nerds. And the screen resolution is 3480 by 2160. Let's check the uh, TV, yep. And it shows it's UHD, HDR, but the TV does not play HDR. My TV doesn't. In 24 frames per second. Okay, it's uh, video resolution is 3840 by 2160. So this is 4K, so it's playing in 4K. Now, one other thing, too. Now, let's get to my media. Okay, that's my TV shows, movies. Now, here is the actual TV. So, now this one, I have to use the information from the HD Home Run. It's not provided by MB. If you go to the MB app, it's got the TV recordings and all that stuff. But this one, I can't. So, I got to use this from uh, HD Home Run. Okay, there's a baseball. Again, it plays in Adobe Digital. The video quality is just outstanding. And I can't play it long because I get in trouble. But the video quality is outstanding. But again, this is the TV guide. A grid guide, traditional grid guide. Search the TV guide, recordings, timers. Now here's the recordings. Now the presentation here is not very good. Now on the MB uh, app running on Windows or Android, it's much better. So anyway, it's got the... Uh, Live TV, this is what's on right now on a lot of the stations, a lot of the channels. News. So, it's got almost everything you want. It's a full-blown media center that's got your movies that you can watch. It's got Netflix, it's got YouTube, and it's got live TV or recorded TV. So, whatever you've got. So, it's got everything that you need. So, that's what I want to show you.